The anticipation of Miles' adventure across the Spider-Verse will have everyone on the edge of their seats until June. But it isn't just Spider-Man that will have people queuing up for tickets at the cinema for the next couple of years. Oh no. Marvel has a lot of potential box office hits lined up, from the debut of the Red Hulk in the MCU to Hugh Jackman's triumphant return as Wolverine. The next couple of years of Marvel movies are shaping up to be perhaps the most exciting yet. So in this video, I'm giving you all the latest on all of Marvel's upcoming cinematic productions. You ready? I don't think you are. The highly anticipated Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is swinging into theaters on June 2nd, 2023. And now, the long-awaited sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has finally unveiled its international trailer, and it's nothing short of spectacular. Sony Pictures has once again captured the essence of the web-slinging hero with action-packed footage that teases Spider-Man 2099's unique powers and his strong disapproval of Miles Morales joining the Spider-Force. But that's not all, true believers. The trailer also highlights Miles' moral dilemma, pitting him against the other Spider-Men as they demand he makes a sacrifice for the greater good. Miles, ever the hero, resists because of his desire to save everyone. We can't wait to see how this internal struggle plays out on the big screen. But hold on to your popcorn and make sure your bladder is prepared because this movie is a behemoth. AMC has listed the runtime for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse at a whopping 2 hours and 20 minutes, making it the longest major animated film by a Hollywood studio ever. And apparently, we might see a certain Andy Samberg take up a voice acting role in the film. As for who he voices, that currently remains unclear. The synopsis promises an epic clash between Spider-People from different universes as they band together to save the multiverse from a new threat. I cannot understate how Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is shaping up to be one of the most highly anticipated movies of 2023. Sony Pictures has finally released the first trailer for Kraven the Hunter, one live-action movie that is very much shaping up to be violent and action-packed. Currently slated to release on October 6, 2023, the film delves into the origins of the iconic Marvel villain and features a star-studded cast that includes Aaron Taylor Johnson and Russell Crowe. Taylor Johnson takes on the role of Sergei Kravinov, a Russian hunter looking to prove himself to the world. Described as animalistic and vicious, Kraven is a conservationist and protector of the natural world. He uses various weapons, from spears to bear traps, to take down his foes. The footage shown in the trailer confirms that Kraven the Hunter will be rated R and features a lot of blood and violence. Crow plays Kraven's father figure, who will be an antagonist for the Hunter in the film. The trailer also reveals the appearance of another iconic Marvel character, the Rhino, who undergoes a physical transformation after injecting himself with a serum. While it is unclear if Tom Holland's Spider-Man character will appear in the movie, the Rhino is confirmed to be involved. Craven the Hunter has a violent R rating and gory footage, setting it apart from its predecessors, so you know this bad boy is going to deliver. The Marvels is set to be the final movie of Marvel Cinematic Universe's Phase 4. Dropping in on us from the galaxies on November 10th, 2023, the movie is packed with powerful female superheroes, cosmic settings, and thrilling location-swapping action. While the trailer has received mixed reviews, we're excited to see Brie Larson Tiana Paris and Iman Vellani reprise their roles as Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Miss Marvel, respectively. Samuel L. Jackson will also make an appearance as Nick Fury, the ex-Shield director. The movie's main villain, Dar Ben, will be played by Zaw Ashton, though her character's gender has been swapped from the original comic book series. Fans of the Miss Marvel series will be pleased to know that the Marvels picks up right where the TV show left off as the trio of superheroes tries to figure out why they keep trading places when using their powers. With Phase 5 set to introduce a whole new roster of characters to the MCU, the Marvels looks like it will be the perfect send-off to Phase 4. At CinemaCon 2022, Sony unveiled their upcoming project, Kraven the Hunter, but there was no word on Spider-Man 4 or other Marvel movies. However, there was some buzz surrounding Bad Bunny's involvement in the El Muerto movie. Reportedly, the Grammy-winning rapper has selected his character from the Spider-Man universe and is set to bring El Muerto to life. 
El Muerto is a Mexican superhero whose primary adversary is a supernatural being called El Dorado. Bad Bunny's love for pro wrestling seemingly makes him a perfect fit for the role. Jonas Cuarón is set to direct the film, with Garrett Dunnett Alcocer penning the screenplay. Although Ana de Armas was previously rumored to be in contention for the lead female role, the casting process is still in the early stages. While the release date for El Muerto has been set for January 12th, 2024, cameras have not started rolling yet, so you guys will likely have to wait a little longer. There's a stonking new installment in Sony Pictures' Marvel Universe, Madam Web, scheduled for release on February 16th, 2024. The film will explore the character of Cassandra Webb, a mutant and a trusted ally of Spider-Man. Madam Webb is a clairvoyant who is both blind and paralyzed, relying on a spider web-shaped life support system to keep her alive. Sony Pictures has enlisted some top talent for the project, including S.J. Clarkson, who has previously worked on Marvel Television's Jessica Jones and The Defenders to direct the film. In a major announcement, Dakota Johnson, known for her role in the Fifty Shades franchise, has been confirmed to play the titular character, making Madame Web Sony's first Marvel property adaption with a female lead. The film script is in good hands as well, as Sony has brought back Morbius writers, Matt Sazasma and Burke Sharpless to pen the story. Fans are hopeful that this will be a chance for the duo to redeem themselves after the underwhelming reception to the Jared Leto starring Morbius movie. Overall, this is plenty to look forward to with Madame Web, from the iconic character's fascinating backstory to the talented team behind the camera. This film promises to be an intriguing addition to Sony's Marvel Universe. The third installment of Sony's animated Spider-Man universe is coming your way on March 29th, 2024, and it's now titled Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Originally named Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 2, the film will take us on one last ride with Miles Morales and potentially set up a future for the character in the MCU. The details of the storyline are being kept under wraps for now, but it's expected that the events of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, releasing in June 2023, will provide some hints about what's to come in the third film. This highly anticipated movie will be directed by Joe Kim Dos Santos, who's known for his work on Justice League Unlimited and Avatar The Last Airbender. Meanwhile, Lord and Miller, the dynamic duo behind the first two installments, will be back as producers. The Spider-Verse franchise has been a massive success, earning an Oscar for Best Animated Feature in 2019 and introducing audiences to a whole new universe of Spider-People. Now with a third movie in the works, I'm definitely excited to see what other Spider-powered characters and worlds could be introduced and whether we'll finally see Miles Morales cross over into the MCU. Captain America New World Order is shaping up to be an absolute blockbuster hit. Set photos have recently surfaced, revealing exciting details about the highly anticipated sequel starring Anthony Mackie as the first black Captain America. Taking place after the events of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the title suggests political turmoil, and the photo suggests that the stakes will be higher than ever before. Tim Blake Nelson will reprise his role as Dr. Samuel Stearns, and Harrison Ford will join the MCU as President of the United States, General Thunderbolt Ross. Danny Ramirez returns as Joaquin Torres, who may take on the role of the new Falcon, and a funeral scene hints at the possibility of the loss of a significant character. Could it be General Ross, or someone else entirely? Fans are left to wonder until the official trailer drops. With a star-studded cast and a story that promises to shake things up, Captain America New World Order is sure to deliver thrilling action and unexpected twists when it hits theaters in May of 2024 as part of Phase 5. Stay tuned for more updates on this one. Marvel has been dominating the box office and streaming services for years, and they have no plans to slow down anytime soon. Their next release is the highly anticipated Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, but they're also gearing up to start production on a string of other projects, including Blade and Thunderbolts. The latter is Marvel's take on the classic Suicide Squad story, but with a unique Marvel Studios twist that's sure to leave audiences breathless. Director Jake Schrerer is reuniting with his beef collaborator, Lee Sung Jin, who is penning the rewrites to tighten up the project. David Harbour 
who said to reprise his role as Red Guardian in Thunderbolts, recently revealed that the film is unlike anything he's ever seen before. Other characters stated to be appearing are Florence Pugh's Yelena Belova, Baron Zemo, and Taskmaster. It's really good. Marvel's changing it up, Harbour said. What this means in the universe is its own thing, but the team itself and the way they come together, it's very different from any other Marvel movie I've seen. According to industry insider Jeff Snyder, Lee was brought on to change the entire Thunderbolt script, to make it more well-rounded and less focused on the Black Widow characters. Lee confirmed his involvement and revealed that he's largely following Schreier's lead on the project. Thunderbolts is set to release on July 26, 2024, and if the buzz is any indication, it's going to be another Marvel masterpiece that you won't want to miss. The upcoming Blade movie is adding yet another incredible talent to its lineup. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Nick Pizzolatto, the creator of the critically acclaimed series True Detective, has joined the project as a writer. Pizzolatto will be working off a script draft penned by Michael Starbury, adding his own unique touch to the movie. The film, directed by Jan Demange of Lovecraft Country fame, is expected to start production later this month in Atlanta, Georgia. The movie will star the incredible Mahershala Ali as the titular Blade, alongside the recently announced Mia Goth in the rumored role of Lilith. The film is expected to be part of Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, along with Captain America New World Order and Daredevil Born Again. For those who may not know, Blade is a beloved character from the Marvel Comics universe who made his cinematic debut in 1998 with Wesley Snipes in the titular role. The Blade trilogy from New Line Cinema was a significant early success for comic book adaptions, raking in over $400 million at the global box office. With such an incredible team behind the movie, get ready to sink your teeth into this one when it hits theaters on September 6, 2024. Hold on to your chimichangas, because Deadpool 3 is bringing back some familiar faces and a new take on one of the most iconic X-Men characters. Ryan Reynolds is back in the red spandex suit, and he's bringing along Morena Bakarin as Vanessa, Stefan Kapichik as Colossus, Karan Sani as Dopinder, and Leslie Uggams as Blind Al. But the biggest surprise of all is the return of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Yes, you heard that right! Although we said goodbye to Wolverine in Logan, the clever folks at Marvel found a way to bring him back, and according to Jackman, it's going to be a completely new take on the character. Reynolds teased fans on Twitter last year, and now it's confirmed that we'll get to see the Merc with a mouth alongside everyone's favorite Claude mutant. Even better, the events of Deadpool 3 won't interfere with Logan's cinematic story, so no need to worry about any continuity issues. The film is set to hit theaters on November 8, 2024, and I can't wait to see what kind of hijinks Deadpool and Wolverine will get up to together. The Fantastic Four reboot is just around the corner, and we might just have a scoop on who's playing the Human Torch. While rumors have been flying about who will play the famous superheroes, a recent report from Industry Insider, Daniel Richtman, known as Daniel RPK, claims that Paul Mescal has been offered the role of Johnny Storm, also known as the Human Torch. Paul Mescal, the Emmy and Oscar-nominated actor from Normal People and After Sun, has already been making waves in the industry, and he would certainly bring some star power to the Fantastic Four reboot. The youngest member of the team, Johnny Storm, is also the same age as Peter Parker, so Mescal's youthful looks might just be perfect for the role. While Disney and Marvel have yet to confirm anything officially, this news has certainly got fans talking. With production set to begin in early 2024, we'll just have to wait and see who will make up the rest of the Fantastic Four team. After the disappointing portrayal of Venom in its brief MCU appearance, Fans have been eagerly waiting for Sony to redeem the character. And now, we have some exciting news to share. The development of Venom 3 has officially begun, with Tom Hardy reprising his role as the lethal protector, Eddie Brock. While the exact release date of the film is yet to be announced, we can expect to see Venom face off against some of his toughest foes yet. There are rumors that the fan-favorite villain, Carnage, may make a return or we could see the introduction of other classic Spider-Man foes, like Kraven the Hunter or the Sinister Six. With Eddie Brock and the symbiote back in action, we can't wait to see what thrilling new storylines and exciting action sequences are in store for us in Venom 3. 
After the wild success of Spider-Man No Way Home, it was only a matter of time before we heard more about the future of everyone's favorite web slinger. In February 2023, Spider-Man 4 was officially announced to be in development. And although we don't know much about what's next for Peter Parker, the fact that we're getting more movies is enough to make Spidey fans everywhere rejoice. Will we see Holland Spider-Man reunite with old friends like Daredevil and the Avengers? Or will he face off against new folks and discover new corners of the MCU? One thing's for sure, with Marvel Studios and Sony still in cahoots, the possibilities are endless. So which movie are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest movie updates.